Do I? Okay, Ms. Trish, we are ready. Well, welcome everybody uh, to our uh, Friday webinar series here. Uh, my name is Bob Cohen, and I'm calling out of the beautiful Raleigh, North Carolina market. It's my pleasure, my privilege uh, to be the host for today's uh, webinar. I do want to thank the Hoffmans uh, for letting me really just share and pour into everybody here my 16 years now um, with Legal Shield. And, and real quick, my, my background, um, my background was a, a real estate broker for corporate America, just working the crazy hours. And I knew for things to change, I got to make some changes. For things to be different, I got to be different. And just so thankful uh, Legal Shield got introduced to me um, actually because I was going through a legal situation. And uh, stressed out for about eight, eight, nine months. Didn't know what to do with some, some real estate that I still own over on the West Coast. And an attorney, of all people, introduces me to Legal Shield. You know, um, found it too good to be true, just like everybody else, you know, says about Legal Shield. But I, I actually used the service, and that's what did it for me. Um, that eight month situation got taken care of within two weeks, and folks didn't get the crazy legal bill. And uh, I started part time part-time, just an extra 10, 12 hours a week, got plugged into the system, um, understood this was a different game. So, you know, checked my ego at the door, uh, completely coachable. Even today, 16 years later, I'm still coachable. I still go to the events. I still get on the calls because you just never know what you're going to miss. So that's my quick Dun and Bradstreet there. And I'm super excited to just welcome everybody, not only on our live version here, Friday mornings, uh, 6.30 Pacific, 9.30 Eastern, great way to kick off your Friday, great way to kick off your weekend uh, with our webinar series here. But the playback, the 24-7 playback is absolutely uh, vital here for not only your success but your team's success. So we do know a lot of people work. Do make sure you do uh, emphasize the playback there. And, and the key is you've got to schedule the playback. If I've learned anything here with working with people, They've got to schedule that playback, uh, otherwise another week goes by. So we don't want that to happen. Uh, this information is just too valuable. So today's topic, Marketing 101. I just absolutely love it. Uh, Legal Shield, folks, is just a, it's a dream come true for uh, all of us that we have found the, the right vehicle here for the financial independence, for the time freedom that uh, you may be looking for. The part here, folks, is this is, this is a marketing play. That, that's all we have to worry about as Legal Shield Associates. And what do I mean by that? Well, we've got a lot of business people on the phone. Um, maybe we've got a lot of, you know, quote, W-2 uh, ex employees on the phone that are now starting their own home-based business with Legal Shield. And here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen, we don't have to worry about the product. You know, that's the that's Legal Shield comes in. They they are in charge of the attorneys. We don't have to worry about payments. And keeping track of all that, again, that's Legal Shield. That's where they come in. We don't have to have employees. We don't have to have overhead. None of the typical uh, headaches that come with uh, owning your own uh, business uh, with uh, Legal Shield. We just have to worry about marketing. And it's so much fun, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you'll, you'll pick up my excitement here that we truly are at the right place at the right time uh, with Legal Shield. And, and rule number one, as we get the webinar kicked off, is uh, you kind of have fun. And I love this quote by Derek Jeter. He says here, uh, for those folks that are joining us on the conference side, um, you got to have fun. Regardless of how you look at it, we're playing a game. It's a business. It's our job. But I don't think you can do well unless you're having fun. So, folks, if you get anything out of this webinar today, please write this down in your notes, F-U-N, underline, underline, underline. Okay, every day, please make this a priority. You've got to have fun with your legal show business because this is a blast. And I'm going to show you some examples of how we have so much fun getting out there into the marketplace and sharing our legal show business. Okay, so there will be a, a homework, uh, a little assignment here at the back end, a little quiz, pop quiz. So uh, make sure you're taking your notes here because rule number one uh, is, uh, is one of the questions. Okay? All right, so real quick, we're going to talk about three principles to our legal show business. And every month, when we start a new month, this is what I've been doing for years, is I, 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 re, re, I go over these three principles again and, and where am I in my business. And so 
here's three principles. Number one is that we've got to find people to talk to, and that's that's the prospecting side. Okay. Second principle is what do we say to those people that we find? That's the, the presentation, right? And that's where there's where our consumer report uh, comes in and you know, using the tools and CDs and websites and all that. So that's actually the doing the presentation side. And uh, three is then are we duplicating? Is what we're doing able to duplicate? And the old rule here, folks, is everything works, but does it duplicate? You see? I can go put, uh, you know, ads on the TV or billboards off the highway. Yeah, that may work, but that's not going to duplicate, folks, because as you start bringing on a team, guess what? They don't have the money. They don't have the resources to put ads on the TV and billboards off the highway. So that's what constantly, what, what I'd like you to do on a scale of 1 to 10 is rank yourself, rate yourself, where are you on these, these three principles, okay? So for the purposes of today's discussion, we're going to stop right there at number one. Okay, on a scale of one to ten, do I have enough people to talk to? And here's the here's the secret. You want to have so many leads. If you guys see my office, uh, in fact, I'm going to show you a couple things. I've got leads. I've got I've got. There's so much going on. Uh, it's a wonderful thing. I can't even keep up. So if you're one of those people that you know, Bob, how do you how do you find the people? How do you Okay, we're definitely definitely pay attention to today's webinar because we're going to change that. Okay, so I'm going to absolutely share these three tremendous books. I do want to make sure take a picture of this screen right now, um, write them down because these three books changed it all, changed it all for me and a lot of other people. And many of you have heard of Bob Berg. He's absolutely tremendous. He's he's definitely a giver. In fact, he's got a book called The Go Giver. And Endless Referrals is such a phenomenal, phenomenal read. Make sure you have that in your library. Make sure you're reading it. I've got mine right here, right by my desk. And I can't even tell you folks how many times I've picked up nugget after nugget after nugget by Bob Berg's Endless Referrals uh, book. Okay. Second really good read is Permission Marketing by Seth as a Godin, I, I would believe. Just a tremendous read, folks, of just how the big boys market? How do they? How's the Procter and Gamble's? How you know? How's how are people utilizing the just amazing you know concept of permission marketing, which falls right into place with what we do at Legal Shield? Is we're here to educate, and that's what I love about it. This is not the hard sell. We're not here to twist anybody's arm, and it's interesting because sometimes salespeople who do join our business have a tough time. With Legal Shield, it's absolutely amazing because they're 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 grinding, they're pushing on people here with our product. And by all means, man, we do not need to do that. Okay. The third is just an absolute gem. Many of you probably have never even heard of this. The last prospecting guide you'll ever need, again by Bob Berg. And I just came across this book about a year ago, uh, and what a great find! I, I guarantee most people have never even heard of this book. Um, Bob Berg just does a tremendous, tremendous job. Uh, talking about our industry and how to network, how to build rapport, um, how to get referrals. Uh, just absolutely brilliant, brilliant book. So please make sure, again, these three books are in your library. More importantly, make sure 10 pages a day, first thing in the morning, last thing at night, nothing crazy. Okay? So let's talk about Bob Berg here. Uh, first, first step is he talks about the concept, do people know, like, and trust you? And this is so important, ladies and gentlemen. Every day, you know, we're out there buying things, and uh, it's all about relationships. You know, business is all about relationships. And, and just think about yourself while you're out there, right? If you're looking for a car, you're looking for furniture, clothes, you know, whatever things, you know, that you go out and buy, but most of the time, ladies and gentlemen, as a consumer, we're buying products and, th and such based on you know people we know, people we trust, people we like. And so this is really, really, really important to understand. Again, rate yourself on a scale of one to ten. Where do I fall fall here? You know, do people <clears throat> do people know me? Do people like me? Do they, do they trust you? And and this is just so important, ladies and gentlemen, because your reputation is everything. 
uh, in real estate, they used to say, you know, your name goes around uh, once. And you can actually say the same thing with Legal Shield. Your name goes around once. Is it, is it going around good or is it going around bad? And only you can answer that question. When I mean bad, I mean flaky. I mean, you know, do you not show up to appointments? Um, are you late to appointments? Um, are you in? Are you out? Are you doing, you know, 10 other, uh, you know, little, I don't know, network marketing things out there also at the same time? You know, Paul J. Myers, uh, you know, one of our top, top mentors, we lost him a couple of few years ago, multi, multi, multi millionaire. I, I always remember the saying, he says, you can't ride two horses at the same time. Absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. He's so, he's so correct. So, <laughs> again, back to Bob Burke here. All things being equal, people do business um, with people they, they trust, they like, and they know. Okay, so that's our goal, again, is to build that relationship. You know, friends first. I, I love, I love the, uh, the B&I approach. Uh, I think it's giver's gain, you know, and it's just, you know, are you pouring into people? And uh, it's just so, so important. Okay, so, again, we're going to come back to this one. Uh, second here, second step. This is so important, especially for our brand new associates. What are your strengths? You know, when I sit down with a brand new associate, you know, we, we bring them on board. In fact, we just brought on a, a couple here. They're absolutely wonderful, Tiffany and Tim, uh, here in the Raleigh area. They're ex-business owners. They absolutely understand what it is, all the headaches to be a business owner. And they're going to have so much fun with Legal Shield because it's just so refreshing. So what did we do? They came on board, and the, one of the first things we did is I sat down with Tiffany here just the other day, and we talked about her strengths. We talked about, you know, what has she been good at, how many hours can she devote towards this Legal Shield project, and then we talked about her goals. And folks, it's so important here. This is not about Bob's goals. You know, this is about the new associate's goals of, of where they can be successful with Legal Shield. So this is really important. Where I, I see a lot where people get confused, and they 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 try you know one of the divisions for a little bit, and then they're they're you know oh that didn't work. I didn't see the results right away. So let me try this other division. And let me, and folks, what I'm saying here is stay in your lane. Okay. What I want to have you do is pick a major and pick a minor. Okay. What do I mean by that? Well, we've got we've got small business, we've got group, and we've got recruiting. Okay, and that's pretty much that's our four divisions with Legal Shield. And so what I'd like you to do is figure out where your strengths are. You know, are you a business person? Fantastic. You understand what a small business goes through. Guess what? Small business is probably going to be your major. All right, because you can talk their language, you can share with them how Legal Shield will really help them make better decisions and, and everything else that goes along with that. Okay. Um, you care about people. You know, that's our consumer division right there. If you care about people, you like to help people, fantastic. That's our consumer division. Okay. Group, you know, everyone sees the big picture on group and the big dollars that come in from group. But group takes a lot, folks. Group takes, uh, it really is a sales process on that side. It takes a lot of time to, for some of these groups to have finally happen. And so if you don't have a lot of time with your legal show business, you know, you're part time. Well, guess what? What I'd rather have you do is partner with someone who is full time, who does do a lot of group, and why not partner with those associates instead and collect a 50 50 on that? See, that's called working smarter instead of harder. And so, again, if, if I see a mistake with associates, is that um, they're not leveraging the system enough, they're not staying in their lane. And uh, again, if your time is limited, which most people, that's how I started, very part-time, right? What did I do? Well, I stayed in, in, uh, in, the, um, in the consumer. I stayed in recruiting and then small business as I, as I started freeing up some time. And so, again, that's what I want you to just kind of ask yourself and, and figure out for yourself, where are your strengths? How much time do I have towards this? And then how do I, how do I now implement a plan of action? And so warm market is always the best. Ladies and gentlemen, why? Because there's already a trust going on there. You know, cold market's fine, but you got to get over that, that 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 trust factor first. Okay, we're going to be sharing some some kind of cold market ideas here, as well as warm market here in the next few slides. All right. Step number three, 
activity is the name of the game. Now, I've never played this board game myself, but I have played the game in the, in the real world called Activity with Legal Shield with my Legal Shield business. And folks, if um, if you're just not seeing the results right now, I tell you what it is. It's this one word called Activity. Okay, Activity is the answer to everything. It's absolutely amazing. So, again, where are we going to apply this activity? War market. All right, I guarantee people on the on this uh, event today, that on the webinar. I guarantee you haven't even touched all your warm market. And how do I guarantee that? Because I haven't even touched all my warm market. And I've been at this for 16 years. Okay, so again, it's time to go back, figure out who can I share this service with, and we're going to share with you a, a few ideas how to go and do that. Um, cold market again, we're going to share some ideas here in just a second. So activity, activity, activity equals results. Okay. Got to talk about personal development here, folks. Jim Rohn says, if you want to have more, you got to become more. For things to change, you got to change. For things to get better, we have to get better. For things to improve, we have to improve. If you grow, everything grows for you. And oh my gosh, is that the absolute truth. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's all. this is a game. Okay, I hope you're seeing the theme here. And are you getting better at the game every single day? And what do I mean by that? There's where personal development comes in. Personal development is personal. It just really depends on where do you have to grow. All righty. Um, I always give the example here. When you enter a room, do you brighten the room or do you dim the room? You know, are you, are you, uh, you know, excited? There's a big smile on your face. Or are you, you know, negative Nelly there and uh, bringing people down? And so again, ladies and gentlemen, this is just things that we got to work on every single day. I congratulate everybody for getting on this webinar because this is part of your growth. You know, on a weekly basis, uh, it's amazing. The people that are plugging into this webinar, there's absolutely, there's a, there's a positive side of this. Is I'm seeing more people qualify for Performance Club. I'm seeing more people. In fact, Michelle Wilson out in California just picked up her BMW last month, and she's been a student. You know, she's been very, very loyal on this call, especially from West Coast, you know, calling in at 6.30 in the morning, and the results are happening for her. You know, she's Performance Club qualified now for, I believe, uh, two years, and again, it's all attributable to her working on herself, working harder on herself than anything else, okay? So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. How do we have fun in our business? Well, you want to be the first to say, hello. I know it's kind of cheesy, but I had to uh, I had to pull out the old Lionel Richie here, and uh, it's so funny, ladies and gentlemen, because <laughs> I gotta laugh because you know you go around and, and be the first to say hello. Just just start just getting into this practice, okay? And I and I talk about here. I want you to develop your hello muscle, and uh, again, <laughs> it's funny because if you don't say hello, most probably they're not going to say hello. And all you got to do is say hello, and that gets everything going. <laughs> I just got to laugh because I can't even tell you how many times I'm kind of waiting to see if someone's going to say hello, especially when I get on a plane, right, and there's somebody right there in the seat next to you. Isn't that kind of weird to sit with that person for the next four or five hours and you never say hello? <laughs> it's just so weird. Why not just say hello? Be the first to say hello, break the ice, and it's amazing what that does. Okay, so what do you say after you say hello? Ask a question or pay a compliment. How do you get a conversation going? Ask a question or pay a compliment. And we've been following this on our team for years and years. Uh, I know a lot of a lot of associates that are on right now, they're laughing because this is just how simple our business is. And I actually have fun with this, and I will, like, ask the most bizarre question just to get the conversation going. And so have fun with this. Ask questions. It's crazy. You know, you just, you just you see somebody pushing a baby. You know, pay a compliment. Oh, my God, your, your child's gorgeous. You know? <laughs> Ask a question. Pay a compliment. And truly, folks, this, that's how easy it is to start a conversation with someone. Okay? So we're going to come back to this one at the end as well. All right, so on a scale of 1 to 10, think back, you know, yesterday, how many people did you get out there and, and say hello to? Okay. 
This one's important, folks. What's your elevator speech? You know, you know, you all know what an elevator speech is. It's it's thirty seconds. You know, elevators going down, floor to floor to floor. What would you say if someone asked you, "Hey, so what do you do?" Okay, and we actually did this exercise in Vegas here back in July at the at the big conference. Um, in fact, over on Shield Nation, we've got just a lot, a lot, a lot of elevator speeches that people use when someone asks them, "Hey, so what do you do?" So if you're kind of a little rusty on this part, if if you know, if I were to open the lines right now and go through and ask everybody, hey, so what do you do? And if you're kind of spraying and praying, which is not a good thing, then folks, we got to work on this. And um, my take on this is really it, it varies. Um, I always try to learn more about the person first, as far as what's their business, what's their background, and then I um, I develop a an answer that kind of surrounds you know what's in it for them and that's what I what that's what I mean here it's an opportunity to deliver value but when you're answering what's in it for them so if I do meet with a small business person okay I'm gonna answer um, you know wow great to you know build a rapport and ask about them and such and you know the spotlights on them of course um, but then you know I'm gonna let them know that you know I, I work with a company that we protect small business owners um, against identity theft you know, you know, just kind of just something, whatever, you know, kind of spur the moment. There is really no right or right, right or wrong answer, by the way, folks. Um, again, go make the mistakes. Go have fun. It, it, this is, you're not going to get fired, okay? You will uh, be alive the next day, I guarantee it, here with, with, uh, with Legal Shield as far as, you know, just, just getting out there. So, again, visit shieldnation.com. I think that kind of came out kind of light there in the bottom. But there are some wonderful examples of how people, what is their elevator speech uh, when asked, hey, so what do you do? Okay, so here's what, here's where we kind of get into some, some ideas as far as now, how do we approach people? Okay, you're a brand new associate, we've been doing this for years, we call it the hemp approach, and it's not the hemp that you think it is, it's the help expand uh, may or may not be for you, and perhaps you may know the types of people. And ladies and gentlemen, this is a simple script that we have used that has absolutely helped produce $100,000 ring earners on our team. And uh, my suggestion is take a picture of this, have it, have it in front of you here when you're making your call. The whole object objective here, folks, is to protect families with the Legal Shield service. Okay, our whole objective is just make them aware. Some people will see Legal Shield, fantastic, we move forward. Some people, it's not for them right now, fantastic. Fantastic. Who do you know? Ask for referrals. Okay? We're still friends. Not a big deal. But again, our whole objective is just simply to make people aware. All righty? So the, uh, uh, the hemp approach is absolutely brilliant. You know, ring, ring. Uh, one of my best friends answers the phone. I catch up with them. How you doing the whole bit? Hey, listen, you know, Bill, do you have a, could you help me out? You know, I'm looking to expand a new business. I'm very excited. This may or may not be for you. Perhaps you may know the types of people. Could you help me out? And let them answer. That's it, folks. This is a quick few-minute conversation here with somebody. You know, how many times a day could you literally be doing the hemp approach with people? And I tell you, it works. Um, the trap here, though, is when they say, um, yeah, I can help you out. What is it? And for the next 10 minutes, you go blah, 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 blah. You absolutely just blew it. Okay, instead, what we want you to do is find out a good time to get together with them. Find, if they're long distance, then go ahead and send them out a website, send them your link, okay, send them out a Get Paid Daily CD, DVD, send them out a Success From Home magazine, okay? Just make sure it's off of you. Why? Remember, everything duplicates. So if I were to go there and blah, blah, blah for the next 10, 15 minutes, they're probably still not going to get it because it's such a new concept. And two, more importantly, that doesn't duplicate. But to send somebody a website, to educate them, to sit down with them for 15, 20 minutes, do a consumer folder, that duplicates. To invite them on to a, you know, our Sunday conference call to learn about Legal Shield, and then to invite them out to see the big picture about Legal Shield, ladies and gentlemen, that duplicates all day long. Okay? So I love this approach here. We simply ask people for help. Asking for opinion. Hey, can I get your opinion on a on a project I'm working on? Uh, yeah, you got to get out of your comfort zone. 
But that's where success is, folks, is, is uh, you got to get out of that comfort zone and ask people for help. Um, oops. Wow, what happened there? All right, let me try that again. All right, there we go. Um, again, asking for help, asking for someone uh, for their opinion. So this next slide here um, are really everyday folks. We have, I call them OSPs. We have opportunity-seeking perception situations that come in, in front of us. And it's very interesting because when your OSP is open, your OSP is on, you will see these situations. And what do I mean by that? That's, you know, different events that go on in our lives as we're doing our lives uh, from, the, you know, the local newspaper, having events going on to maybe overhearing a conversation there at Starbucks where someone's going through a legal situation. Um, it's absolutely amazing that when your OSP is open, um, it's, it's, a, it's very cool that we can be the answer for a lot of people. So I'm going to make this just a little bit bigger, but these are all different kind of just events, marketing 101 right here, that you can plug into. And, and you know, a few of my favorite ones are right here listed. The chamber events, folks, absolutely amazing. Uh, the mixers, I love the mixers. They're usually after hours. You know, you pay your five, ten bucks there. They got the, you know, the, the, the hors d'oeuvres, things like that. But more importantly, you're meeting fellow businesses. And so how do you meet these people? Well, go online, look up your local chamber, and calendar the next mixer. Calendar the next event. The key is you've got to calendar it because what I found is these things come up pretty quick. And uh, again, you've got to get out of your comfort zone. Okay, but when I go, I'm always very professionally dressed. I usually have a you know, Legal Shield shirt on and such. And when I go, my goal is to connect to build rapport, and I'm really looking to pick up maybe about five cards. That's it. I'm not looking to go crazy, but I want to connect with business owners. I want to connect with insurance professionals. I want to connect with real estate people, mortgage people. Okay, why do why that? Well, of course, business owners were a great fit for them. Uh, the insurance people were a great add-on, value-add proposition for their clients, and the same thing for real estate and mortgage people. Okay. Unbelievable how we are a great fit for those people. Now, I'm not here to take them out of what they're doing, but I am here to partner with those particular people, you know, and let me be their legal shield uh, arm, if that makes sense. Um, the meetup groups are absolutely tremendous. Again, I'll talk about Michelle Wilson. You know, she came and got introduced to Legal Shield to another uh, amazing young lady named Kimberly Todd, and Kimberly went to a meetup group and met Michelle Wilson. And they, they hit it off. I think they went out for coffee afterwards. Kimberly shared, you know, Legal Shield, what we're doing on our project. Well, now you know the rest of the story. Michelle has gone on and done some great things with Legal Shield. How that happened? It was a meetup group. So if you're not familiar with meetup, just go to meetup.com, and there's every single kind of meetup out there. Just go. Again, you got to get out of your comfort zone. People are never going to just, you know, come to your house. In fact, in 16 years. I've never had somebody knock on my door, oh, Bob, are you doing that legal thing? No, folks, this is where the marketing comes in. This is where we got to get out there and let, let people know you're the Legal Shield ambassador. Okay? Love the throwaway newspapers. My gosh, it's just there's a treasure trove in those newspapers. What am I talking about? Those are those little just handout newspapers. You see them there in front of restaurants. Oh, my gosh, my brother and I, we, we always pick these things up. We always find leads in there. What's a lead? It could be a small business. It could be an event going on. Absolutely tremendous. And again, I don't want anybody ever to walk by, uh, you know, seeing a stack of newspapers at a restaurant or wherever without picking one up. All right? And then start going through that. Uh, follow your dollar. Absolutely tremendous. Great way to market your business. You know, um, uh, right now, in fact, I picked a new barber. And I'll show, I'll show you a sample of what I did with him here in just a second. But, you know, where are you spending money, folks? You know, the, 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 the line here is, as a customer of yours, I'd appreciate you looking at something that I market. Maybe you'll become a customer of mine. Am I asking them to buy? Am I asking them to join? Am I asking them to sell? No, I'm just asking them to take a look at what, what I'm doing, and maybe they'll become a customer of mine. Folks, if you're, wherever you're spending money, your cleaners, whatever, your dentist, if they won't even at least give you the 15, 20 minutes to take a look at what you're doing, 
uh, folks, you you got to think very serious about that uh, that relationship, okay? Because follow your dollar is so strong. Um, this one's big. What do you like to do for fun, folks? Go out there, go pursue your hobbies. You know, I like gardening. I like you know uh, you know doing things with the dog. It's wonderful. Get out there. Go go take go go do go walk the dog in the park. Go. Go, just get out, get out, get busy, unbelievable. Pursue your hobbies, so important. You like cooking? Great, go take a cooking class. You're going to meet people. You're going to have fun. That's how you do your business. Craigslist, tremendous. There's a whole section there, folks, Craigslist, community events that go on, wonderful. You know, I have a goal once a week at least to attend a networking event, at least one. Uh, most of the time I'm doing about two, three, but I'm full time. Okay, so once a week, folks, is that in your schedule, at least one networking event. School alumni, absolutely tremendous. Wow, love it. You know, have you thought about contacting your alumni uh, association, you know, going through that database of fellow alumni and introducing yourself? You know, what if you made five calls a day uh, to your, your fellow classmates? You know, catch up with them. Let them know what you're doing. What are you going to do? You're going to do the hemp script with them, you know. Uh, hey, it's a long time we've talked. I could really use your help. We're looking to expand in blah, blah, blah. This may or may not be for you. Perhaps you may know the types of people. Could you help me out? You see how it all works together? Again, here's some other ideas. Walking your dog and push a baby. Oh, my God, those are such magnets for people. It's, just, it's hysterical to get a conversation going. You know, church is wonderful, temple. You know, go take a class. Go back to school. You know, go attend some personal development events. Um, I know Les Brown is making the circuit right now. He's, he's going to be in Charlotte next week and then Raleigh the following. Les Brown's tremendous, tremendous personal development um, event. And more importantly, I'm not telling you to get wrapped up in the event per se, but what you're going to meet like-minded people at those events. Is that event going to cost you, you know, 15, 25 bucks? Sure. Yeah, it is. But I equate that to your marketing budget. Right, just like you had to put an ad in the paper or something. Well, just put it down to advertising, and uh, what an opportunity to expand your legal show business. Um, this one's fun. Go test drive a BMW. All right, my gosh, how many of you guys have ever thought of? Here we have a program that uh, the company's going to you just by marketing five memberships a month. Do that for 12 months, right? Well, fantastic. 13th month, you can go down and pick up your BMW because they're going to give you a $500 BMW allowance. Uh, folks, I don't know too many companies uh, in this day and age <laughs> giving out uh, car allowances like Legal Shield. And uh, here's what's fun, because now you've got an opportunity to build rapport, to prospect that BMW uh, salesperson. You know, the conversation could go like this. You know, I work with a company. We have a BMW uh, car program. Would you like to be the salesperson who sells me my BMW? What are they going to say? Uh, no, I don't want to be that salesperson. Folks, they're going to be so darn intrigued. What? What, what kind of company do you work with that, uh, that uh, gives away BMWs? Man, here, here's a CD called Get Paid Daily. Why don't you give that a, lesson, a listen here, and I'll follow up with you here in a day. Folks, how, how many times a day can you do that? All right? Oh, my gosh. Uh, how about visiting? You know, the bookstores and Starbucks and Barnes and Nobles. Again, just get out of the house, get out of the house, get out of the house. Okay? Last but not least, I do a lot of traveling. I probably travel 12, 15 times a year. It's all business related, folks. I love it. I travel. I go see. We're going to Orlando here this weekend for the big B2B conference. I'm going to be meeting people at the airplane, on the airplane ride at the airport. Wonderful. Get out of the house. Get out of the house. I hope you're seeing the common theme here. And then last but not least, you know, we're hearing some great things with BNI. Uh, Toastmasters is absolutely brilliant. And then just all the other charitable organizations that are out there. So I hope this list kind of just opens your eyes a little more. Like, wow, I never even thought about BMW people or, you know, never thought about, you know, uh, you know going to, um, you know, the meetup groups. So, again, that's the whole purpose of today's webinar is just, giving you different ideas, different marketing ideas to help expand your legal show business so that you're in a situation like me, I've got so many darn leads, I can't keep up, 
If someone says no, no problem. It just simply means not now, and I'm on to the next person. Not a, not a big deal. Now, here's just a few examples of what I've done in the past. In fact, I'm, I'm brand new to the Raleigh area here. And what did I do? I, um, I, I joined a, um, a trade show, a small business trade show a few months ago. And uh, the trade show was probably about, um, probably I think $50, $75 to get a booth. Legal Shield's got a tremendous trade show program where you, I, I think you just pay for shipping, but they'll ship you all the beautiful Legal Shield, you know, the background and the tablecloth and all that. And ladies and gentlemen, um, I probably was into this maybe, I don't know, two, three hundred dollars. And again, I equate that to my marketing budget, by the way. And what came from this trade show? Well, this particular trade show, I ended up marketing about three, four memberships so far, and I ended up bringing on two associates. And one associate is a good gentleman named Mike Wilson, who in fact uh, I met here at this trade show. He was, he was uh, brand new to the Raleigh market. He's from the Washington, D.C. area, and he was absolutely in transition. He had never heard of Legal Shield. Absolutely intrigued, and ladies and gentlemen, he's now uh, become an associate. He's been to Las Vegas. In fact, I'm rooming with him this weekend in Orlando. We're having a blast. He's a super sharp guy. And why'd that happen? Because I invested in my business, folks. And probably the biggest, probably the biggest mistake I see associates make is they nickel and dime this thing, folks. And you can't do that. You can't do that. Now, I've done trade shows in the past. Guess what? Nothing's come from it. All right? I've, I've done plenty of those, in fact. But as you'll see here, the whole goal for a trade show is you want to do a drawing. So I actually went to Costco, and I picked up this little $50 gift certificate there, right? And see all those cards? See all that? That's all fortune in the follow-up right there, ladies and gentlemen. The whole goal is to, again, build the rapport, collect the information, and then make sure you're following up with uh, the people that attend, okay? So it is a two-step process with the, with the trade show. All right, let me, uh, let me go to the next slide. Local newspapers, folks. Just what a treasure trove, again, of great events. This is just in my local newspaper here just the other day. Here, this is what went on this week. We are, there was a men's health and business networking meeting here on September 8th. There was a women's business uh, event. How to start a home-based business. Wow, very interesting. Might be something there, huh? How about this one? Women business owners networking. Oh, wow, that might be a fit for what we're doing at Legal Shield. Ladies and gentlemen, again, every day these events are going on, but do you know about them? Okay, are you OSP? Is your, is your mind open to seeing what's going on out there? Here's some other events. Okay, here's where I go out every single week, go have fun. Here's something going on here, a garden tour that I'm, I'm absolutely going to attend here one of these Sundays. Um, I'm a big garden buff. And fantastic. I'm going to have some fun. I'm going to meet some people, build the rapport. Uh, here's a Greek festival going on here. Later, in fact, this weekend, if I was in town, I'd probably go attend because um, I like to eat, especially like Greek food. Do you, you guys see the common theme going on here? It's all about the fun. It's all about just getting out there. Um, here's something interesting. Ladies and gentlemen, we talk about the PBR, and here's what, here's so funny. I actually found my original list going through some information we recently moved, and uh, this is my original list, you know, when I became an associate, what they say? They said, Bob, put together your list. We're going to invite everybody over. We're going to let everybody know you're starting your, your legal show business. It's a grand opening event, and it's so funny because I, as I look over this list, you know, some people became associates, some people became memberships. Um, a lot of people never did anything, but guess what? They at least know I'm part of Legal Shield, so that when the time does, you know, uh, you know, the timing is right. Guess what? They'll probably come on board. So I just thought that was kind of funny to, you know, come across my original PBR list. Um, here's something here that we always talk about: the Super Saturdays, you know, that Legal Shield does. Again, this is my original list back in the day. All right, and to this day, in fact, I was just in California last month there, uh, working with the team and such, and uh, we went to Super Saturday, the tremendous event. So I hope you're seeing just the little, the one percenters here that absolutely add up. And uh, again, ladies and gentlemen, just do not keep this a secret. Please do not. It's just, it's just not even fair. So here's my barber. 
I just told you here my 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 latest um, situation here where I'm bringing my success from home magazine. And what do I do? I'm going to leave them where there's you know people waiting. And there's a very famous story here of uh, a gentleman named Charlie Mullenkamp uh, out in California. Uh, Charlie was with his wife at a, dent, uh, a doctor's appointment years ago. He's sitting there in the waiting room. There's a uh, magazine there about Legal Shield. He picks up the magazine, starts thumbing through, absolutely intrigued. Charlie ended up becoming an associate with Legal Shield. He, con he contacted the person on the front cover, okay, right there. Oh, by the way, you do want to make sure you staple your card on there, not tape, because it's, it's, it's like a weird texture. It doesn't quite stick. And uh, Charlie uh, went on to be, do some great things, in fact, six figures in the small business market. Now, am I saying um, this is going to work every single time? Heck no. Uh-uh. It's very passive, but you never know. Okay, so again, OSP folks, you know, I was just at the Nissan dealership. What did I do? I left the magazine there. I was at, uh, at Chick-fil-A uh, last weekend. What did I do? I left the magazine right there in the magazine rack. Is it passive? Absolutely. Will something probably happen? Probably not. But what if? Okay. What if, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you know, the next, uh, you know, John Hoffman, the next Darnell Self, happens to pick up that magazine, and, you know, looking for a change, and uh, you know, the rest is history. Okay. Got to talk about this real quick, folks. Uh oh. And um, this is where really I see most people mess up. And so again, take a picture of this. Uh, slide here if you're joining us on the webinar because it's called fortune in the follow-up and it's so important folks most people don't realize it but you know I didn't see Legal Shield right away uh, my brother who introduced uh, me to the company he followed up with me in fact in fact I'll tell you where I, I probably stand I, I probably stand at, at that very last line there 80% of sales are made on the fifth to twelfth you know follow-up contact and uh, you know, some people see it right away. Fantastic. Some people need more. You know, multiple exposures. Fantastic. But this is just very, very interesting here that most people, 48%, will uh, never follow up with a prospect. That's over. That's all, that's incredible. That's a incredible number here, folks. You know, 25%. One out of four will make two contact follow-ups. 12%, three. Only 10% will make more than three contact follow-ups. Folks, make sure this is not you know where your awareness goes, your energy goes. Um, again, 2% of sales are, are only on the first contact. Um, I think our numbers are a lot higher than this because our price point and, and value proposition are so strong. But this is typically what you know out there. Uh, again, make sure you're following up because it's uh, all you're doing. In fact, you're just planting the seeds for those of us that are serious about our legal shield business and we are following up. So what's the best tool in our opinion of, to, to stay in touch with people? Well, it's the Wealth Builders tracking form. The Hoffmans have been using this for years and years, in fact 17 plus years. Um, the Hoffmans have earned millions and millions of dollars. The old saying is if someone's stack is bigger than your stack, probably, probably makes sense to listen to them. And again, um, this is available over on Shield Nation under documents and just start tracking your exposures, folks. You know, if you're part time, they say you know two exposures a day. If you're full time, three to five exposures a day. Um, that's the minimum. And so, again, folks, you're not going to be able to remember, you know, those um, those exposures that you make. You're you're going to have ten in play, twenty, fifty, a hundred, two hundred in play. And what you do here is you just simply put their information down. And here's what I do: I actually skip a line, so I only put five to a form because that gives me more room to write on. But um, what you'll see here is this, you know, you put the dates on the different trackings. And the whole idea is within 48 hours, you want to be just moving your person through the process. Now I'm going to give you a big, big secret right here. Okay, you ready? We're looking to disqualify people. You don't hear too many people talk about this. My brother and I, also a six-figure ring earner, uh, part time with Legal Shield, we talk about this to our team all the time. We're looking to disqualify people because this is not for everybody, and that's fantastic. You know, not everyone's supposed to make six figures from home, folks. The membership is definitely for everybody, but the opportunity is not. And I love about the tools here 
is that I can disqualify a person without wasting time. And it's so perfect for busy people that you can lean on the tools. If I can't get somebody to, to review a website, to jump on a call, to come out to an event, how the heck are they ever going to come out to Orlando or come out to Oklahoma here next, uh, next July for the big picture? It's never going to happen, folks. So again, I'm looking to weed people out. I'm looking for people who, who want to run just like I'm running, who want to position themselves in front of this incredible trend and not miss it. Okay, so again, if you're not using this tracking form, I, this is why this is why you're you're learning about this is because it's time to start tracking. Okay, winners are trackers. It just comes down to that. Okay, here's something fun that I do. That again, when I pick up cards, then what do you do with all these cards? Well, I simply just put them on a white sheet of paper. I, I tape them on there, and then I always have my notes. And if you'll see here, this was way back in the day. I went to a home show. This is back in 04, folks. That's over 10 years ago. How do I have this still that I was able to show you right now? Well, I have it in a three-ring binder. It's very neat. And every now and then, I'll follow back up with some people. You know, I kind of throw them in the waiting room. And then every now and then, follow back up, see what's changed. And here's what's pretty funny about this list is I guarantee most of these people are probably gone. They're probably toast because most of them were mortgage background. 2004, yeah, they probably had a couple of good more years, and then then they were history. And so it's just a lesson, ladies and gentlemen. You know, do you have a plan B in place? Uh, most time, most people don't, and that's what that's what gets them in trouble. So I just show you. I hope this helps to kind of see how I keep track of my my business cards as I'm out there. Is it old school? Absolutely. Does it work? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, last but not least, here as far as a follow up tracking device. Is our own email autoresponder program, ladies and gentlemen. This is our secret secret weapon here, the Shield Nation. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, in fact, let me jump out of here real quick and see if I can get over there. Um, over on ShieldNation.com, if you'll go under this marketing tab right here and click marketing and retention, you can learn all about it, how it all works, and for twenty-four dollars and ninety-five cents a month, unlimited. Um, email autoresponders, uh, amazing, about 15, 20 different campaigns <clears throat> that you can put people into. And why I love this is that now you can literally just let somebody know, hey, is it okay if my email assistant uh, continues to you know, follow up with you and educate you about Legal Shield? I always ask their permission, either when I'm with them or I'll send them an email when I follow up. And what this is is it's a uh, very cost-effective, very simple um, email uh, autoresponder here that's already been done. Again, you've got all different campaigns here from a brand new member. I always put my new members on here to uh, how to use the service. We've got small business. We've got it. They're all right here, ladies and gentlemen. And again, this is a sample here of day one, what, what gets sent out to that uh, person. And it takes you about 30 seconds. And the beautiful thing here is all your information is on the bottom so that they can contact you. And it's very, very professional. It's not obnoxious. And uh, this just kind of gives you an idea of how powerful our marketing retention uh, system here uh, is. So I've been using it now for 15 plus years. My retention is 83% uh, on, our, uh, on my memberships. Does it work? I think it does. Uh, some people, unfortunately, are going to nickel and dime this and go, I don't want to pay 25 bucks a month. OK, it's your business. You decide what you want to do. Again, we, why are we sharing this tool? Because it absolutely, uh, it absolutely works. OK? So just, uh, again, if you're not using that, folks, uh, the marketing retention system uh, is a definite, definite perfect fit for busy people. So as we start wrapping up here, uh, again, ladies and gentlemen, this is all about just consistency, correct, you know, getting those habits, planting the seed, planting the the legal shield seeds every single day. Um, here's a bonus principle here from our own Zig Ziglar. Uh, I like what he says here. There are no traffic jams on the extra mile. Okay, it's so true, folks. Uh, you know, your goal in legal shield is to go from the bottom 10% to the top 10%. Your goal is that in your local marketplace, you know, people know who you are. They're talking about you in a, in a positive way. You know, when you come to events, you brighten the room. You want to make sure the leadership knows 
you know, who you are and you're going places with your legal show business. Um, again, it's all about getting better at the game. Work more, on your, uh, work harder on yourself than you do your business. This has been my secret weapon here for 16 years. You know, we don't even have cable TV, folks. Um, I don't, I don't have the newspaper. Uh, it's all negative. No reason. To, you know, that reality TV is, is just. If you want to reduce your income, you go, go have cable TV. It's, just, it's as simple as that. Okay. Instead. I'd rather be, you know, spending quality time getting out there, meeting people, you know, having quality uh, time with my, my wife and family and such, uh, rather than watching TV, building someone else's dream. It's absolutely crazy. Okay. Um, here we go. This comes from Darcy again. The fastest way to, to mastery is just apply and integrate what you all learned here today. Today. Okay. Until it becomes the new normal. Yeah, it's going to be a little maybe awkward at the beginning, uh, am I going to make mistakes? Absolutely. Am I going to say the wrong thing? Absolutely. Folks, you're, you'll be okay. All right, tomorrow's a brand new day, and all I want you to do is just start working on your marketing muscle, uh, a subject here that we just uh, we don't talk about enough. So as we finish up today's presentation, what I'd like you uh, to do is if you've got any questions, any comments, you know, go ahead and raise your hand there in the, uh, in the little display there. And uh, we'll call on you here just for a few minutes uh, as we wrap up today's presentation. But again, make sure you pick up these books, uh, Endless Referrals, absolutely brilliant, the last prospecting guide you'll ever need. And so here's our pop quiz real quick. Again, what was rule number one? Are you having fun? Okay. I guarantee I'm going to have fun today. I guarantee it. I just, I, I do. Uh, again, folks, we're not, we're not splitting atoms. We're not going to the moon. All right, there's some tough jobs out there. In fact, Terry, my brother and I, we, we have a little collage where we'll take pictures of tough jobs out there. And that's, you know, this guy up on 80-story building cleaning windows. Folks, that's a tough job. Us, you know, sharing a CD with somebody, asking somebody for help, give me a break, folks. This is not tough. Um, what kind of activities, what kind of events can you go to today? You know, go online. Go look up what's going on in your, in your area here this weekend, today. Fantastic. Put it on your calendar. Schedule it. Um, what tracking systems are you going to start using today? Okay, go print the tracking form. If you don't have a printer, fine. Go to Office Depot. It's one of our benefit companies anyways as far as perks. And uh, go print out those tracking forms. Keep a, um, a free reminder. Okay, and then finally, which books are you going to go pick up and start reading? So uh, what we're going to do here, let's take just a few minutes. Um, I'd love to hear some feedback from, from you all. What was some ahas? What really kind of resonated? Uh, more importantly, folks, what are you going to implement? Okay, what are you going to, boy, I never thought of doing that. Or, you know, uh, that was a great idea, Bob. Let me, um, let me share with you. So go ahead and raise your hand. And uh, we'll just spend a couple more minutes here. Uh, again, love to hear from, from you. If I don't. Uh, have people raise their hands. Uh, I'm going to start calling on people. So uh, <laughs> I'll give you about another 10 seconds to um, to raise your hand. And, and folks, if you're quiet on this webinar, if you're quiet with me, family, then I guarantee you're probably quiet in your legal show business. And that ain't a good thing. So thank you, Reba, for stepping up here. Let me open up your line and uh, love to hear from you. You're 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 there, Reba. Oh, okay, great. Thank you. Well, I've learned yeah. a lot because I've been struggling with um, just what you said, you know, meeting people and uh, also you reinforce some of the things that I had already started to do. I go to a website called Evite uh, Bright, which is or Event Bright, which is just like Meetup, and find different events and networking events to go to. Love it, love it, love it. Isn't that fun? Yes, fantastic. Right? You're just and I've learned okay. and I'm learning. And I'm yeah. learning, and I've re really been practicing that three-foot rule. I was uncomfortable with that, but I'm getting more and more comfortable. Good for you. And that's where you're, you start building your, you're building your three-foot uh, rule muscle. And uh, here's the thing, folks. It makes sense. As kids, what are we taught? We're taught, we're taught don't talk to strangers, okay, <laughs> as kids, right? And uh, here's, here's what are we trying to attempt here in Legal Shield. Yeah, we want you to go talk to strangers. So there's like this whole disconnect thing going on and that, that we have to overcome. So uh, again, ladies and gentlemen, have a smile on your face. Be the first to say hello. 
and just just get to know people. It's just so fascinating, you know, about people, where are they from, what's their background. Um, many a time, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let me give you a quick secret here. I'll, 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 uh, especially in an elevator where it's so quick, I don't have time to really share what I do. And that's okay. It was good practice. It was actually very good practice just to learn, just to get out of my comfort zone um, and, 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 and learn about somebody. So thanks so much there. Let's go out to Steve Hales. All right. Uh, can you hear me all right, Bob? We can. Awesome. Um, yeah, this is something that the three foot rule is where I really struggled. Um, so I, I kind of made it my personal goal to, uh, and the reason I think I struggle is, you know, I'm I'm a pretty outgoing person in an in an event at a mixer. I was at a mixer last night, met all kinds of people. Um, it was great, but if I'm talking about in like the grocery store, or the gas station, or whatever that is, I, I really struggle with it. Um, so I kind of took, I had to take some of the pressure off myself. Um, and make it my goal to just say hello Perfect. or Perfect. You know, to Perfect. 10 people. Exactly. Love it. Just be or nice. Good yeah. And I can involve that goal to, to kind of learn more about what they do and, and figure out how I can um, uh, best fit their needs with Legal Shield. And, and let me ask you, Steve, have you picked up Endless Referrals or have you ever heard of this book? I I I'd heard of it. I never picked it up, but I took a picture of it, and I'm definitely going to be. That's going to be my next read. Okay, sure. absolutely. Yeah, you'll you'll read that book, and then you, if you see my copy, I've got it underlined and dog-eared, and oh my gosh, it's an absolute tremendous resource. And uh, here's the thing: I went online, I looked up each of these books at eBay. Um, for the I think all three, you could probably with shipping probably less than fifteen bucks. They're like super super inexpensive. Okay, so uh, again, pick up the hard copy, you know, get the audio if you'd like to. If, you know, every morning I, I go for a walk and I listen to personal development in the morning there while I'm walking the dog. Just a great way to kick off uh, your day. But uh, I, I love it, Steve. You know, just, again, just have fun. Uh, just say hello. Just be nice to people. My gosh, that's, uh, that's just so refreshing. And uh, if Legal Shield comes up, fantastic. If it doesn't, fantastic. You know, it, it's all good here, folks. Um, there's a time and a place for everything. So thanks so much, Steve. And uh, I got time just for about one or two more. I got a lot of people that are muted for some reason that I can't unmute your line. So um, let's go. No, I can't even go to you. Um, Teresa, um, it's really weird. You guys are muted somehow. And um, I just can't, uh, I can't get up to you. So I uh, would love to hear what you say. Um, but again, folks, let's go ahead and wrap up. Uh, today's uh, tremendous webinar. Thanks again for spending some time here uh, on your legal show business. Uh, again, work harder on yourself than anything else. Do pick up these books. Okay, they're a tremendous read. Go out there, have fun with your legal show business. And uh, you know, this is a big month here with Performance Club. Definitely make that a goal to join this uh, tremendous club that the company does. Go out there, go drive, test drive a BMW. Again, just, just go out there and have fun. All right, that's all I can say. Um, with that, I'm going to sign off. This is Bob Cohen calling out uh, from the Raleigh, North Carolina market. And uh, we'll see everybody uh, next week for another uh, amazing webinar. Bye-bye.